Hello and welcome to Gamer Social. My name is Matthew Nam here, and let's play Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic 2: The Sith Lords, continuing on our journey. So today, I need to try something. So, in the last episode, I believe it was the last episode, we were fighting these people. But there's one challenge we are yet to accept. So I want to try and see if I can. I got adrenaline, uh, stim. What else have I got? I got anything else? I have hyper adrenaline strength. Yeah, I have plenty. So I want to see if I can beat these people. Now I know it's not going to be easy at all, but let's try it, shall we? Let's try. You are a strong opponent. Atrus was correct about you. You know much of war and battle. Perhaps too much. Yeah, perhaps. I could take all of you on without breaking a sweat. One does not sweat in the polar regions of Telos. So all that will break will be your pride. Then let's put that to the test. Then our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Use any item, any weapon, any technique you wish. You will need them. Okay, let's do this. Very well. We shall begin. Christ Almighty. Oh crap, here we go. So this is where it gets a bit tricky. So let's use our adrenaline thing first of all. And let's head over here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's use my stamina. Let's use my strength. Wait, wait, wait. So I've got those things going on. Let's use my. Uh, let's run over here quickly. Pause it. Let's use this. Good. Now let's start using some bombs. I haven't got any bombs. No grenades. Darn it, really? I haven't got any grenades. Force barrier. Let's start. Oh no, I have got grenades. Grenades, good. Frag grenade them. Yeah, bitch, die. Die. Keep throwing grenades, come on. Keep throwing grenades. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> We're gonna kick them all up. Sonic detonator. Have we got anything else? A decent grenade. Oh Christ almighty. Sonic detonator. Kick their ass. Oh crap, hang on a minute. Hang on, whoop, stop. I'm running out of health. Let's use an advanced med pack after this. And again, throw this grenade. Wait, we can do this, we can do this. Use this, use that, use that. Use that, use that. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. Throw the grenade, come on. There shall be no more matches. Yes! No more challenges. There is much we have learned from you. If we meet on the field of battle, we shall be prepared. Awesome stuff, I managed to do it. I managed to do it, I got 750 experience points, hardly anything worthwhile. How far am I from leveling up? I'm eight years away yet. Wow, <laughs> that was tough. I hear you. Heal me please, I need, I need the healing. So I pretty much used all my grenades I had, but that's good, I was, I was saving up. I was, didn't know this was actually going to happen, but I was saving up all those grenades, I had to use them. Um, yeah, thank you. Much appreciated. Um, so yeah, let's put my uh, my armor back on then, shall we? And have I got I got what is that anyway? I have no idea what the hell that is. Um, have I got any sort of I got a force pike? Is that good? Physical damage two twelve. Maybe I should wear this. Yeah, let's try it. Maybe that'll be good to, to do, because I know you don't get penalised as much if you're using just um, one single double-handed weapon effectively. If you're using two, you get a bit more penalised. Um, awesome. So, let's go this way. We haven't been this way yet. What's over here? We have this person here who we do not care about. Um, there's something over here that we can throw a lift to see or we can't go through there, can we? No, we didn't think so. So let's just explore the area then. And then we can leave, I believe, because um, we should be done on this place. Then everything we want to. What is up here? Oh, this is where we were before. We're silly people. 
nothing to do in these council chamber area type places. What else we got? Right, down here then. We can do this. So we're moving on quite nicely. Is that a way down? Nope, it's just a hole in the ground. Never mind. So is that the door that was sealed? No, this is a different door. Let's go through here. Oh, some bits and pieces. Yes, please. Anything worthwhile? Components. You never know, that might come in handy with something. What have we got in here? Out the way, please, Barrider. And a death blade. Nice. What's in this one here? Out the way. Move. Come on. Let me in. What else we got? Cool. Okay, so if we go to Bather, what was this Rodian death place? It's a 212. That's 1 6. Well, that's crap. Um, 212. I thought these were 313, but. Oh, there it is. You can use that one then. Why not? Yeah. Hopefully, I won't get penalized too much for using a double weapon, but I might get a bit more lucky. We'll soon find out. Anything in here to loot? Nothing? No? Fine. Through here then. Hello there, handmaiden sister. I don't really care what you have to say. I believe I have to go this way towards my ship. I think. Oh, hello. Beep, deep, 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 deep. Yes. Um, T3, are you alright? I'm guessing that means he's not alright. Maybe he's not okay at all. Um, so it wasn't your fault they took my shit, T3. Interesting conversation. Um, hold on, what information are you talking about? Oh, crikey. Um, why would she want what's in your memory core? Um, let's get back to the ship, then we can talk more. Nope. You can fill me in later. Let's get you out of here first. Okay, didn't even sign anything. There we go. Whoa. See you at the Ebon Hawk. There he goes. Little guy. Bye bye. Awesome. I managed to get some influence and some light side points because I'm a nice person. Oh, look, an upgrade workbench thing. Let's see if I can do any upgrading. So, upgrade items. Let's choose something that isn't even upgradable. Apparently, what I got in my thing is not upgradable. I think it did say it, to be honest. Um, can I upgrade this at all? Already is upgraded, apart from that. So, I may as well put that in there for Baradur. Why not? Oh! Cylinder, what have we got? Anything decent? Sith War Sword, hold on one second. So I've got this thing which is 212. Where's that Sith War Sword gone? This is 317. Nice, I'm gonna use that. Although it's a Sith thing, that will be good. Can I upgrade it then? I know we can. Um, armor, no. Mealy, 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 mealy. What did I what did I just click? I want to upgrade weapons. Upgrade this. I can upgrade it. I'm going to upgrade it with everything. So first of all I got to go on to this one. Put it all in none. Like so. And then back onto mine, I can then put on the thingamajiggy edge and this grip and that is not compatible with that. No, didn't think so. But that's fine. I can assemble that. What about the armor then? Because um, that has everything it needs to have. Because I can't upgrade mine, which is a shame. Oh well. So let's go back to this viable thing, and just put that back on there then, because he would appreciate it. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Now I should be able to do quite a bit of damage to this, I hope. And I got a nice lab station. Um, use the lab station. Advanced med pack. Okay, I can only create one. Ooh, strength D pack. Crap! Bollocks. Fine. Never mind. Off we go then. Damn this way, let's get out of here. Let's see where we're gonna go next. And yay, the Ebon Hawk. Let's have a little look around the outside first and see what sort of bits and pieces we can find. You never know, we might be able to find something quite useful. Like credits, for example, that'll always come in handy. There's a weird looking crane over here. Not to worry. 
Oh crap, this is the boarding ramp, I know. Uh, step away from it for now. I obviously can't go that way. Or is there any other bits and pieces over this side of the ship then? No, fine, let's go then. Let's get out of here. Ebon Hawk, yes please, enter the Ebon Hawk. Let's do this. Let's go, go, go. Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Left? But why? Her oath. Her reasons are unknown to me. But I fear she may no longer be trusted. We will save her if we can, but we must let her discover the exile's nature for herself. Some evils must be confronted, and isolation from it would have been no defense. Ooh, we have someone on board we shouldn't have. Well, now that we're off that Dajaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. Um, what's with T3? Um, what are you talking about? You downloaded Atris Ar Atris's archives? What does the machine say? I have no idea. Um, he said there was a hollow re record of my trial in Atris's records. We seem to have found it. Awesome. Do you know why we have called you here? Um, You've called me here to answer my crimes on Malika 5. As Revan summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? Hmm. Um. I realized that following Revan to war was in violation of the Jedi Code, and I broke it. No need to find the wishes of the Council. It is good you recognize this. It means you will understand why you must leave us. You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing. Your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Aww. Never mind. No lights here before us. Much defiance in that one. You are correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It was as if he was not there. More like an echo. The war has touched the youngest of the Order. Many of them have lost themselves in battle against the Mandalorians. I have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. The choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code, and lead all who listen to the Dark Side, as they did the Exile. You are wrong. The Dark Side is not what I sensed in the Exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the Dark Side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who stood before you. 
This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one. If what we have seen is true, but the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Ooh. These Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? Those last few moments after my trial, I had no idea. If you find anything else, let me know. Actress has a list of all missing Jedi? Sure, display it. Master Vruk, Dantooine. Master Zezkre, Al Nashadar. Master Kavar, Onderon. Master Vash, Korriban. Master Atris, Telos. I knew all those Jedi Masters. Strange coincidence. It is no coincidence. There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. We have no choice, does Jedi know what happened to me? Oh, hello. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. It is just me. And I am doing this because Atris believes you will need help. Do you think we need help? I think the strength of the enemy is unknown. But it is greater than five can hope to defeat without aid. When you put it like that, then welcome aboard. Indeed. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. Hmm. Look, forget Atom. Take the regular quarters, we have enough room. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but thank you for your kindness. You're welcome. Yay, join the party. Awesome stuff. Yay, saving good. Whew. I should be... Oh, hello. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? Ashes in the Jedi Council took it from me. That's not your lightsaber anymore. That belonged to someone who served Revan in the wars, not the person you are now. You could build another one, if you wanted to, but... You know that. Um. And why wouldn't I? I don't know, General. But whatever the reason, you should put it behind you. I know this. A lightsaber is part of who you are. Without it, you're not complete. Very well. To begin, there are some parts I'll need. I think I can help you out there. I happen to know the parts you need. Since when did you become an expert on lightsabers? I spent a lot of time around Jedi during the war. None of them would let me take their lightsaber apart, but I did learn about their construction. We need a power cell. Emitter matrix, lens and focusing crystal. Though I have to admit the crystal is beyond my means. Never did understand them. Those parts are fairly common. Though a Jedi once told me that it's best if your lightsaber reflects you. And if it is constructed of things that identify it as your own. Just bring the parts to me before you get started building it. I'll make sure they're usable. All I'm saying is that you've gone for a long time without a memory wipe. Most droids behave erratically under those circumstances. I know that, but I'm fixing everything else around here, so I may as well take a look at you too. What was that? That's what I'm talking about. That is not normal droid behavior. Hmm. What's going on here? I 
am not pushing you around. I just wanted to see if there was anything I could do to upgrade your functionality. Hmm. That sounds like a good idea to me. Good. Now let's get started. Awesome. You wouldn't guess it from the outside, but it looks like you've been through a lot. Not bad. I'm all done with you. If anything comes loose, let me know and I'll put it back in place. Yay, plus two bonus on his constitution and awesome stuff. Can I control my character now? I can. Good. No, nothing or anything? Fine. That's all we have time for this episode. I'll see you in the next one as we continue our journey and see if we can gain some influence with some people. Thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you then. I'm ready for you. Where are you, bitch? Do this. Critical strike. I got some dark side points. Why did I get some dark side points? Is that because I said the thing about Revan being, yeah, whatever. But I got a net light side shift, so it's fine. Never mind. That was not intentional. Do a flurry. Kick her ass. Boom, boom.